Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast dedicated to transforming your health in less time and guilt-free through the power of habit hacking. This isn't your typical wellness podcast, friend, so hang on tight. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. As a busy working mom myself, my clients and I have felt physically and emotionally drained, but lack the time and confidence to actually make ourselves a priority. Plus, all the health advice out there is so confusing and overwhelming, right? Redefining what true health really means paired with habit strategy from the female perspective has been the key to empowering my clients and even myself to finally create a consistent, healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard or just like another thing on your long to-do list. I'm now on a mission to equip you with these same sustainable habit hacks and affordable tools to help reset your habits in any season of your life in order to help you thrive. So if you're ready to habit hack your health and create your transformation together, then let's do this. Hey gang, welcome to Habit Hack Thursday. It is December 1st. Happy December, happy last month of 2022. I hope you are already starting to maybe think about 2023 and who you wanna be, what that habit identity is gonna be for you in the new year. I'm here to help you. I'm so proud of you just for showing up and listening to today's podcast. I know. I'm out of my habit and my routine of listening to as many podcasts as I usually do this time of year, so I appreciate you showing up, my friend. So a couple of things before we get into today's habit hack, and I'm going to get kind of vulnerable with you guys today. Um, First things first, I extended our Black Friday sales until tomorrow, which is Friday the 2nd. So you can get some fun, a fun bundle in the transformation shop. You can get tons of um, downloads in the Fundamental Needs bundle and get the Habit Set Stick Starter Kit half off with that. That is my mini course, just teaching you basic habit strategy. You can also get 30% off all of my courses. So if you're looking to transform your life through the Whole30 or the plant-based Whole30, I am an advanced Whole30 and plant-based Whole30 certified coach. So go check those out. Those are like my OG courses. I have helped tons of people through the Whole30 with those courses, and it's my favorite. I love it so much watching people get to their food freedom on the other side and having those light bulb movements. It's the best. So all those are 30% off, and I am sunsetting my signature program, Self Transform You, at the end of the month. So you can buy it now for 50% off. Okay, I'll have a link in the show notes for all this for you and any codes that you need or whatever because... I'm launching a new program in the new year. I'll share more with it about uh, more with you about it on the 8th of December, which is next week. Oh my goodness, can't believe it. But this program I created almost 2 years ago to help women create a healthy habit plan in 4 weeks. And it works. It's a great course. You can get it now and start it at any time you want to. Okay, get it because it's 50% off. Um, This is the last time you'll ever be able to get it. If you are a former SU alumni, you still get access to the course forever and always because I love you and I wish you to still have access to it because it's a great system to take you through over and over again. But as I have grown the program, as I have grown with the clients and grown with talking to my habit hackers inside the society, It is time to up level it. So we're taking it to the next level and I can't wait to share more with you about that. So grab the course. If you've been thinking about doing it, now's the time to do it because it's 50% off. Cool. All right, let's talk about it. So let's talk about how to quickly break a bad habit. And I was actually gonna talk about something else today, but I found myself doing a bad habit today. (laughs) And I was like, okay, I I need to talk about this. So. In, in the month of December, I was recording an episode earlier. We have a private podcast for the Habit Hacking Society members. Um, and we have a theme every month. And the theme for December is wintertime habits and kind of combating, you know, the winter blues, as you will, as some folks call it. And I have really found myself digging into a deep hole today of the winter blues. It's cold. It's gray out. It's like super windy. And I, when 
I am feeling this way. I'm tired too, like physically tired. I then start questioning everything I'm doing, questioning my life, questioning if I'm helping enough people, self-doubting myself, a lot of self-limiting beliefs start creeping in, and then I am just paralyzed and I don't want to do anything. And so I sat back and I was like, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling this way? And I kind of evaluated what led to me up to, up to feeling that way, and I found out what the trigger is. I found out what the trigger was, and I'm like, okay, I need to stop doing that and replace something with that and replace that bad habit I'm doing, that mindset habit I have, and replace it with a healthier habit. Now, that's easier said than done, right? When we think about our habits, when we think about our habits, how much of what we do every day is habitual? Well, when I was researching this episode, studies by neuro- neurobiologists, cognitive psycholo- psychologists, and others indicate that from 40 to 90 per, 95, 40 to 95 percent of human behavior, how we think, what we say, and our overall actions falls into the habit category. Now, if we kind of fall like right in the middle, like right at 50 percent, we're, we're pretty much on automatic automatic like automatic pilot like half the time right the things we're doing are kind of habitual we just don't even think about it it's unconscious right which is what we want to get to with our healthy habits right like we talk about that all the time we start a new habit it's hard we want to get to the place where we don't even think about it this goes for unhealthy or bad habits as well we all have habits that aren't serving us you know biting your nails so i was biting my nails earlier when i was not feeling this way or sometimes i'll pick my nail polish off when i'm really nervous it drives my husband crazy (laughs) or maybe you turn to or emotional eating or maybe it's the way you talk to yourself like i was talking to myself earlier now to get rid of this bad habit i'm going to share a habit hack to help you do that but be prepared it's probably going to take some time It's not an overnight fix. So I talk a lot about the 2190 rule when we are creating new habits. You know, it takes 21 days to actually form a habit, thinking about the strategy, what I teach inside the Healthy Habit Reset, my free masterclass. Like there's a link in the show notes, go get it because it's a great free course to help you learn about how to go through this reset and how to do habit strategy in a really simple way. And you can do it anytime. But this 2190 rule, you apply a new habit in 21 days. 90 days, though, is when it feels like a lifestyle, when it doesn't feel hard, when it feels like an unconscious behavior. But this can apply to bad habits as well. And research shows that it can take 18 to 250 days, depending on the bad habit and how long you've been doing to get rid of it. Y'all, that's not, that's not fast. That's not fast. That's not an overnight fix. So sometimes our bad habits are just automatic, right? We don't even think about it. So how do we start breaking these bad habits? So kind of like what I mentioned before, when I had this aha moment earlier, I had to think about what what was triggering me? What was triggering me? Well, for me, it was scrolling social media. I was comparing myself. All I was seeing was this and this and this and that, and I was comparing myself to this person, that person. Why can't I do this? Why can't this happen for me? And I dug myself into a deep, dark hole. I started not talking nice to myself, and I started biting my nails because I don't have nail polish on right now, so I didn't have to pick that off. So I, I, I sat back and sat down for a minute. I was like, what triggered this? Something triggered me to feel this way. So your biggest habit hack is what is triggering those bad habits for you? Can you remove the trigger? Can you remove the trigger? I have a time limit on um, Instagram for myself every day, and once that timer goes off, I get off. I get off or I post and go or I unfollow or hide people or whatever that don't serve me and make me feel like I start comparing myself, right? And that bad habit then, if you get rid of the trigger, maybe you can set in a new healthier habit. So maybe if I do still have those feelings start creeping in, maybe I need to sit down and journal. Maybe I need to pray. Maybe I need to ask myself that question we asked so many times here in this society and on this show, is this true? <laughs> replace it with a healthier habit. So emotional eating, for example. Maybe you find yourself doing that every day after you get off a meeting with your boss. You're on Zoom and you have a daily meeting with your boss and it's just like, oh, they're driving me crazy and you turn to your pantry and you're eating foods because you're not even hungry. You're just looking to numb the pain. You can use the HALT technique, which we teach inside of all my programming, or replace it with a healthier habit if it's a trigger you cannot get rid of. 
and get like a hot cup of green tea instead or get outside or like watch a funny dog video. A dog video is a funny dog video always makes me feel better. <laughs> so figure out what's triggering you. If you can't get rid of the trigger, how can you replace it with a healthier habit or how can you just remove that trigger? Now we talk about all the time about not just having objective or subjective data, excuse me, subjective data, like, oh, this is happening. Actually having objective data. That's why we do a habit inventory. That's why we have the habit trackers inside the transformation shop. I just created a bad habit tracker for you. It's brand new in the shop. I have started, I'm going to start using it because I need to track and see why I'm having these feelings and what's triggering it. So you'll be able to tra track your feelings what, what the actual, how many times a day you're doing that actual bad habit and what is the trigger. And over time, you'll have that data. And then from there, you can decide, can I replace this trigger? Can I get rid of it? What healthy habit can I replace that bad habit or unhealthy habit with? Sometimes we just need that objective data, right? And tracking with the bad habit tracker available in the shop. There's a link in the show notes. You can just go to transformationshop.co and go to habits. It's listed under there under all the other downloads. It's only like seven bucks, like print it out and actually use it. There's so much power in writing things down. We've talked about that on the show tons too, but track it and see how it goes. Maybe you just need to really see what's triggering that and get rid of that trigger. Put a healthier habit or behavior in there that is going to serve you. Okay. Now be prepared. It's going to take some time, but getting that objective data, it's going to really help you transform that bad habit over time into a wonderful, healthy habit that's serving you and your loved ones around you. Okay, I send you a big virtual hug. Make sure to check out all the links in the show notes of everything that I mentioned today, and I'll catch up with you guys next week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you want some free motivation texted to you every week to help you habit hack your health, send me your favorite emoji to 773-904-2157 to sign up for my weekly pump up text. I can't wait to catch up with you there. And if you have any quick questions for me or feedback, it's me on the other end. So text me back, friend. And if you love the show, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way more mamas can find the show. Tag me in your Instagram stories at emilynichols22. What you love about the show. Show me your review so I can shout you out. Love and appreciate you, friend. I'll see you next time.